Hello and welcome to this quick video tutorial on the free Lightroom print templates that I'm giving away. Once you've installed the print templates, make sure that you restart Lightroom so the templates can be seen by Lightroom upon the next launch. Head over to the print module, which we can do by going up to the print on the upper right hand corner and that will open the print module. On the left hand side under the template browser you'll see three print template sections appear. These are the templates that you've just installed. They are categorised into the paper size. So we've got A3 paper, A3 plus which is the same as 13 by 19 and then we've got the traditional A4 type of paper. Inside of these individual categories we've got all the individual presets which we can apply based on this particular paper size. So let's start with this image, this image of two pairs. This was initially taken with a TLR film camera so it was a, a 6x6 negative to start with. So we've got a square image so ideally I'm going to choose a square template. So let's choose a 7x7 seven seven A4. So that's a 7x7 seven seven print that it's going to give us on A4 paper. Now just because it is a 6x6 six six negative doesn't necessarily mean that we have to print it as a square image. It may work as a different type of format. So let's look at a 9x6. Yes, it works as a 9x6. Let's look at a, an 8x6. And we can see that just because it started its life out as a, seven by, as a square negative doesn't necessarily mean that we have to print it square. You'll notice that as I move the cursor into the centre, the icon chart changes to a hand, which allows us to move the image around with inside this frame, just to see if it would it will actually fit in that particular aspect ratio. You'll also notice that next to some of the template names is the letter. So the letter L indicates it's going to be a landscape type of print template. So this is a landscape and a P would give us a portrait. So let's choose the portrait and this is how the image would be. And again, I can just move that from side to side to see if I can get it looking more respectful. So P indicates a portrait type of template and L indicates a landscape. If it doesn't have a letter next to it, it's going to be a square type of image. So let's look at another image, this one down here. This was a portrait orientated image straight out of the camera. This was taken with a 5x4 film camera where I turn the back into the portrait mode. So let's choose this image and would expect it to work quite nice in a portrait type of template because it is a portrait orientated image. Again, it may work in a square. Let's choose seven by seven square and use the hand tool just to reposition it. And again, this would also work in a square image. So play about with the different templates to see if the image would actually work or look better in some cases using a different type of aspect ratio. The third image was also taken with a 5x4 film camera but this was taken in the horizontal orientation. So I'll choose that and let's choose a horizontal one. Let's go for a 10 by 8 L on A3 paper. So that's a 10 by 8. So traditionally that is going to work because it started out as a 5 by 4. What about an 11 by 14? Then we'd have to use the A3 paper for this one. And again, that's what it looks like under the 11 by 14 preset. We could go for a 10 by 10 square on A3. And on that size paper, it would also work. In fact, I have this printed on the wall next to me as 10 by 
10 on A3. If we went to 7 or 6x6 on A4, again it would also work as that. So as you can see we've got a selection of different presets here where we can quickly look through and then work out yes or no whether the image would suit that particular preset. And once we find one that we like, so if I choose the 10 by 10, all that we do is come down to the print setting, having made sure that we've got the correct settings under the printer type, which these are all controlled by Lightroom and have nothing to do with the templates. So we've got you just got your standard information here that, we, that we're actually going to be sending to the printer, 360 ppi, whether you want sharpening on, and if you do, what type of the media type is it for? And whether you're going to be printing through a profile or going out to the advanced black and white driver. So these are just your standard print options within Lightroom. But the templates themselves are just presets which I've put together where you can choose one from different sizes and different paper types. So if these are presets that you may find handy, if you fill out the information in the box below, your name and your email address, I'll send you a direct link to your given email address. So that's it now for the free print templates for Adobe Lightroom. If you've enjoyed them or if you have any questions, please drop me a line at the website and I'll be happy to answer any questions or queries that you may have. So until next time, thank you for watching. And bye for now.